Coach, you open your 2013-14 season next week in Washington. Can you just talk about the schedule that you have in place this year for the team? Yeah, well, we've got 12 tournaments. Our fall, fall schedule, we've got four events, and it's going to be over and done quickly. Uh, four events in five weeks. So I've really stressed to the guys how important it is to come ready to play and compete and be compete all the time because uh, it's going to be a lot of golf. And to play that much golf is pretty stressful um, and mentally. So they just need to be ready to go. What about a couple of the courses that you're playing that are going to be future U.S. Open sites and, and some venues that you haven't played before? Yeah, I think it's important to take the guys around the country and experience new places. Um, this year in the fall, we're going to Aaron Hills, which is hosting the U.S. Open in 2017. In the spring, we're going to Ohio State. Um, so a lot of travel. It's going to be fun. It's good to experience new places, good different kinds of grass. Um, Columbus is a place that could host the NCAA Regional or NCAA Championship in the future, so it's always good to go to those kind of places. David, can you talk about the schedule? Um, it, it's really, it's going to be tough every time out and being able to play these courses that obviously will be set up to play very tough. Just talk about, as a golfer, what, what that means to you. Uh, looking at the schedule, I'm really excited. Uh, there's no better way to cap off a senior year, uh, but also to be with young guys, uh, bringing them up and kind of traveling around, learning more about their game and everything and, and the program. Uh, we're playing great courses, like Coach just said. Uh, there's no better way to get used to playing tough golf courses without playing tough golf courses. And we, we were playing a lot of courses that are championship style golf courses that really push us, make us better. Um, so I'm really excited. I know all the rest of the guys on the team are. And uh, we're excited to get it kickstarted here in Bremerton this upcoming week. Uh, Coach, David mentioned being a senior. You lost three seniors who were a big part of the program in the last two years, and especially Nick for Sherwood for four years. Just talk about what you have coming in in terms of your newcomers and, and, and David as, as, the, as a lone senior on the team? Yeah, well, I'm really excited about David uh, as a senior. I know he's our team captain. Um, he's been our team captain for two years now. Um, more than what he's going to bring to us on the golf course, he's going to bring a lot of leadership to those young guys, and he's going to set the tone for what it needs to be like around here for years to come, which is really exciting for me. Um, in terms of replacing the guys that are gone, uh, we've got a really strong incoming class, I think. Um, we got one junior college transfer, Alex Franklin. He's had a really great summer, played a lot of good golf against some strong competition. And then our three freshmen, Connor Kumpula from Albany, uh, Kevin Murphy from Rogue River, and then Kevin Chen from Denmark. Um, I think all three of those guys will have a chance to play and compete in our top five immediately. David, uh, as a lone senior, um, you know, kind of what do you look for as your role as a leader this year, and what maybe did you learn from Nick, Nick, and Matt the past couple of years that can maybe help you in that role? Um, well, from Nick, Nick, and Matt, they were always like brothers to me, and that's what this program's always been like for me, and I think programs should be like. So I think the first thing um, that they've kind of taught me to bring to the rest of the guys is really, you know, show them how to be a family, show them how to travel around together, show them how to just be there for each other uh, and help out each other. Um, but um, you know, I'm, re I'm really excited for that aspect because I know a lot of the guys, the newcomers, the three freshman coaches just mentioned, and the transfer are looking for that kind of family atmosphere, and they really feed off each other. So I, I think it's going to be really fun and a really good experience for all of us. Coach, you normally don't like to set goals or have expectations, but obviously you want to get to nationals. Um, and you were one, one shot short last year. You, you've, you've gone to the NCAA regionals on a regular basis. W what do you think the team needs to do this year to kind of take that next step? I think you know, there's a couple things we're stressing with the guys. Um, one is just a commitment to every shot. Um, I think when we don't execute, it's because we're not committed to what we're doing, and those are totally things that are in our control. Um, two is just a belief that they can play and compete with anybody to start. Um, and if I think if we do those two things, and we a part of that belief is just going out there competing to win and play fearlessly, um, then we're going to be in good position when the year comes to an end. Do you feel that this is uh, perhaps the most depth you've had? You talk about that it's going to be competition every week for those five spots. Do you feel like this team is as deep as you had at Oregon State? I don't, I don't know if it's as deep, but I think in terms of the freshmen being able to play right away, I think definitely for sure. David, you always talk about the team and helping the team and that, but you had a great junior year with all second team, all Pac-12 and all region. and one of the top 50 players to watch this season. Um, just talk about individually your year last year and, and what you can do to kind of parlay that into your senior season. Uh, well, first, it's, it's an honor to be uh, you know, chosen as the top five, 50 to watch. Um, but then the next part is you got to show yourself. You got to show uh, that you belong and that kind of stuff. And um, I think moving forward, it's, it's just going to be a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of you know, playing to my ability, playing as well as I can, practice hard 
and uh, just you know really keep moving forward. Uh, it's you know the Pac-12 is such a great conference, um, and every day you should feel honored to be in it, and I I do feel that way. And now it's just to go out there and have some fun and help these help the guys to have a great season. And coach, you have a new assistant coach and Johnny Motomochi who who knows the program and know you know well. Just talk about what you think Johnny can bring to the program. Well, Johnny's a guy with a lot of energy, and he's really passionate about the success of this program, and he's not afraid to share with the guys what he thinks, and he's really knowledgeable about golf. So I think he and I are going to be a really good balance to each other, and I'm just excited. I think you can already see just the, the energy he brings to practice. It's, it's been a lot of fun just in two days with him, so I think it'll be really good. And just your final thoughts on, on this, this season kicking off next week and, and getting it going. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, we just talked about – you know, it's a process, um, and we just got to get better every day. And it's, you know, about one shot at a time. You know, kind of, it's about one shot, you know, to talk about regionals. Last year we missed it by one shot. So if we can be better, every shot, one shot, um, and we stick to the process, we'll do pretty well this year.